now we have to work on our login system we have done the registration and activation the last part is the login before going to do that let me put the restrictions so how can we do that i can set the if condition we have this session here which have our user so if it is set then it's mean our user is set but what if it is not set redirect the person to a registration page or whatever page you want to uh, you know redirect location and in our case let me go here and copy this and not activate register page so if session won't be there it do not allow user and we will gonna do the same thing with all the other files if user is set then redirect to index.php because if the user already you know login we don't want user to you know go to our login activation or registration page and in navigation you see in here we don't have to do this and again i haven't put the call in here semicolon which will definitely gonna trigger an error okay where we were in navigation yeah so in navigation actually we don't want user to see this and this if the user is logged in so if the user is not logged in then only then we will let the user see this so if the user is not set then show these two if user is logged in then it will show this i will gonna say else and refresh now and let's see what happened okay we got the error syntax nav 16 line number 16 navigation uh where are you here you are 16 oh mistake again spelling mistakes always happen okay now you see if we are already logged in as you remember i haven't set a logout so there is no way we can end up the session so login and registration gone even if i try register it will send me back here so let's just quickly uh, implement the logout before going to do the login so go back to my file all we have to do in logout is to destroy the session and then redirect the person to the login page so before destroying the session we have to start the session it will destroy the session and then the last part that we have to do is to redirect the user and this time we don't want to redirect user to the registration page we will redirect to the login page if i now refresh again and then hit the logout you see we are in the login page and if i you see right now the logout button gone and registration and login here so even if i try to access index of php i won't be going there registration page here boom the things are completely set the last thing that we have to do is the login so quickly go to the login page and here we have to set if condition again the same the button submit then again user and i will gonna say auth auth will be the function that we will gonna create in our class and in here we will parse just two things because we are just getting two things email and pass now quickly switch over to the user page function name would be auth getting email and pass now we have to check select all from users where email is equals to email and active is equals to one because we don't want the unauthorized user to log in first we have to check this why we are not checking the password yeah this is the good question let me first write the complete thing it will return the records there is the number of property that sqli class provide us if it is more than zero the record were there so if the record there we have to actually fetch and by the way we don't need you know check everything i will just gonna go with id okay so if you guys remember the logic behind this thing is that we just stored our password as a hash and we can't actually decrypt or you know check the password on database because we are using the algorithm function of php itself and there's the only function php provide against that function 
function to actually verify the password which is password verify by the way so first we have to check that email exists or not if email exists then here we will gonna get the password we can actually put the password in our php verify function and check if it is valid password or not so just going up here capturing this else if it is zero then it's mean email is not available so email does not exist or user is not active okay in the next thing we have to do the same thing again but with different query first we have to fetch raw is equals to and we have a function called fetch object it will give us an id of the specific record that that is retrieving so we will gonna say select all this time obviously because we will gonna put it in our session the complete object so select all where id this time because we are getting id we don't have to check the active or deactivate thing because we already did it here so we will gonna fetch and the password will come now i will gonna check if password there was a function called hash now to verify that we have a function called verify this function take two parameters one is the plain text and the other one is the hash text so in our case I will gonna parse dollar pass the value which we got from user and the other one would be you see we got the raw here with the object of our user and then I will gonna access the property of our regard which is password if they will match it will throw us a true boolean value so if the value would be true the code within the if will run else we will gonna simply throw an error password is not valid and in here in if block I was simply gonna go and copy this part and paste in if block I don't need to use the email and it will be index.php here not the activation and we don't need to get this and we have to change the session as well so we are all set here if the condition will go true the session will be create for the user and then it will redirect to index.php simple else it will throw the error so if I go back refresh and refresh the database as well you see there is one user available already let me close the other pages as well if i go and try to log in with the user that exists it is giving an error okay we accidentally put this with the fetch object function which was supposed to run because the query executed result is saved in run so run should be there not this so now if i go back and send it again you see i just got logged in great if i go and log out i am logged out if i again try to log in with the wrong password it will gonna say you see password is not valid or if i just use the wrong email with the password you see first it checked the email email does not exist now if i'm gonna log in with the correct credentials i am logged in that's all for this video we will gonna come in next video and do the rest of the part. So take care for now. Bye-bye.